Welcome to Toy Pizza. Or as the Italians say, Giacatoli Pizza. Maja! No. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Holy cow, this could be our biggest show ever. Well, everyone's asking for more Marvel since X-Men, and what better way than to talk about Avengers 2, the next big blockbuster from Marvel. That's right, that's right. So we're going to do some news, we're going to do Avengers 2, we're going to show you some crazy collectibles from yep. Marvel. Is this a Night of the Slice? This is a Night of the Slice. We're doing a toy update. That's right, buddies. Yeah, right at the very end. Then a little Q&As, and, yep. and then a little news about Funko Fridays. Yes. Sound All good? Right. Sounds yeah. great. Shall we dive in? Let's hit the news. Let's do it. Okay, okay awesome. News me so, up. We've got four uh, big things that we're covering today. Uh, first and foremost, Revoltec TMNT. Finally showing up in Japan. What yeah, do you think? I think uh, 4chan had some photos of them in the package. Mm -hmm. So this means uh, it's hitting the streets overseas. Yep. Which means Nikki's gonna look up at the camera, and mm. it should be here in the states within the next couple weeks. Um, now I've warned you about Revoltex before, yes. I, and looking yeah. at the floor. <laughs> <laughs> um, I always have buyer's remorse for them. I, I I love the sculpts. I want the toys to be great. Yep. I get them home, and it I just always am disappointed. But you're gonna go for it anyway. I don't know. I mean, so I'm a little on the fence, especially after everything you've talked about, and then. The fifty to sixty dollar price point, oh, it's I a big that. one. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> I didn't know that. when you get there, it's just sort of like I don't want to have to go through what Jesse goes through and then just be disappointed after spending that. Well, the great thing about the figures, if you're looking just for aesthetics, like you know the Playmates do a great job with mm -hmm. the the Nickelodeon series. These are pretty on model. Like you know they don't look exactly like the, from the right off the cartoon screen mm -hmm. with the Playmates right. line, but the Revoltech they do a nice job. They have these animated uh, expressions that you get from the show, and it comes with tons of accessories as well. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, like I said, I, I, if I was gonna get, I would only get one, obviously, because that's like two hundred and something dollars. But well, who's the, the who's the one you get? Um, it, it depends on their facial expressions. I have to look at them again because Donnie has some cool ones, and I don't know, but I don't know. I have to see them in Who person. Who was the the first? Because I could only pick out one turtle mm -hmm. when they first yeah. ended up in stores. Yeah. And my first one was Raph. Oh, okay. And right. his size broke almost immediately. That's sad. But I I remember I was. I was vexed because I didn't know which one to choose. The cartoon hadn't come out yet, right. so, you know, nobody... Yeah. I had no frame of reference for what these were. And for whatever reason, I picked Raph. Mike ended up mm -hmm. being my favorite in right. the long run. From um, the original series? The original, okay. yeah. Okay. Did you have to make a, a similar Sophie's no, it, choice? No, it was just like, it's my birthday. Oh, Ninja Turtles, what are these? <laughs> I'll start playing with them, you know? You got all four at once? No, just like, it was whatever was handed to me. And it's like, I just knew that... Like, Michelangelo's orange, so I started collecting the... I was like, I only want Michelangelo, and everybody was like, I only want Donatello. And eventually we just got them, you know, just from various shapes of Toys R Us, and being like, I don't have this one, and like, let's just get that one. So right. your brother was uh, was in cahoots with the the cash register people selling mm -hmm. them sneakers in exchange yeah. for Ninja Turtles. Well, at... this was 93, so it was like Warhead candy instead yeah. of like yeah. sneakers. <laughs> a little so. smaller scale, yeah. huh? Yeah. All right, uh, number two, we've got OMFG Series 4 on Kickstarter. Now, OMFG stands for Outlandish Mini Figure Guys. Sure. I, I've backed the last three campaigns. I'll be backing this fourth one, of oh, course. Oh, they've all been Kickstarted. They've all been Kickstarted. Oh, okay, um, I didn't know that. This is put on by October Toys, who also run Toy, Toy Break, Break. Yes. Right, right, a okay. popular YouTube channel that was on the scene well before we ever were. Mm -hmm. uh, we love George and Aileen, and I'm excited about this. They they have taken what's great about Kanika Man, and they've put a modern spin on it. They've got some great artists contributing designs. And um, it's always been that way. They always find an artist like, hey, make us a character. Like, there's a mermaid, yeah. uh, a two-legged, like, horn guy. I don't know. No All monsters. Yeah. <laughs> well, what they had been doing for a while, and I think they've probably done for this past series, is they host... They, they invite people to submit designs to oh, that's the cool. message board, yeah, yeah. and they take votes for which character should be in the assortment. That's really cool. Tankhead has criminally been left out of every assortment, <laughs> so I should boycott it on that principle alone, uh, but I won't. I, I love these guys. I want to see them do well. So funny. And, um, you know, they're great. Let's support them. Uh, for all those uh, wondering out there, what is Tankhead? Tankhead was featured in uh, one of mm -hmm. our early episodes of Annotation? Pizza. Annotation right here. Yeah. Check it out. Ooh, yeah. It's a toy that Jesse uh, helped create. And definitely check out that video explaining all of that. It's a really cool toy. So. It's great. It's beautiful. Yeah. Cool. yeah. And so um, so I guess you'll have these and we'll definitely have them on the show in the future, right? Oh, yeah. for sure. Yeah, we should... Do a Muscle Man episode. Yeah. We got to do... You know, we got to cover Glios. Mm -hmm. We should cover OMFG... 
we should do a sort of uh, all homegrown yeah. toy episode yeah. that yeah. covers all these amazing artists that are out there doing stuff. Do we it. could do Michael Skatem stuff. We could mm-hmm. do Eric Nillas. Like there's yeah, or it, even yeah. Um, I'm El- Elemental just being kickstarted. Uh, yeah, any of that sort of stuff. We'll have to figure out a yeah. And you guys, let us know in the comments. Would you like to see us cover these? Uh, you know these independent projects. Yeah, check out the uh, Kickstarter uh, below. It's a couple more days, or maybe a week or so, until it uh, completes. And are we doing a Kickstarter? That's another. That's good still question. up in the air. Well, we'll find out. Yeah, we're gonna decide soon. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, um, number three, uh, three zero mm-hmm. one six scale Ned Stark Game of Thrones. Uh, it's three A. No, it's no, it's three zero. I know. So there's <laughs> three zero. We their their uh, sister companies, three zero, typically uh. handles their license. Okay. Product. So okay. the RoboCop that they did that looks amazing, right. the ED209, you know, that's that's how they so, differentiate. Oh, 3 0, 3 8, and then 3 B is my neighbor. Uh, okay. okay. Right. Basement? You live in a basement apartment? <laughs> no. um, the one thing I have to say, I mean, for anyone watching who loves the show Game of Thrones, mm-hmm. Ned Stark is still, you know, uh, an iconic hey, character. S- spoiler alert, Kate hasn't seen this. What are you talking about? Be careful. I haven't He's, seen Game of Thrones. Everyone's an iconic well, character. Look, it's, it's played by Sean Bean, so you can yeah. assume. How long he's in the series? Well, <laughs> great. The detail, the detail is great. Uh, it comes with the the long. This looks lifelike. Yeah. This this feels like sorcery. Yeah, I mm. mean, the, uh, it comes with the long. I don't know what the real word, but you know, winter feels really cold. He comes with a very very large pelt coat blanket. Um, what is that? A cloak? Tunic? Tunic, maybe. No, I don't okay. Know. Not and a tunic. his classic. Oh, what's the name of it? Cloak? The long sword that he has, Jeez. and he has a special name for his sword. Oh, a gabara. Are we playing taboo? I don't understand. <laughs> Well, basically, <laughs> what is nest, it's a, it's a thing. In the start of the the series, he's like, you have to name your sword, and uh, basically, it, it was a it's a big part. Game of Thrones, fan, you know what I'm talking about. I think you're mixing it up with with um, well, no, because Sword Art Online. No, <laughs> Arya calls it needle. Right. Uh, yes, and then and then eventually, you know, in season four, it gets like <laughs> melted down, kind of thing. Boy, do you guys like unspecific uh, Game of Thrones coverage? Because that's what we're delivering. Well, it's available for pre-order, right? Yeah. Um. Yeah, it's available for pre-order, and uh, like you said, uh, so eloquently, mm-hmm. he's very cool looking. Very you know, <laughs> guys, we should really do something Game of Thrones centric. Hmm. Sometime soon. I don't know. And I have a Possibly. feeling. That... I feel like it should be on a Friday. Well, it, yeah. It, it depends on like you know who even makes you know Game of Thrones like Gee, yeah, I, don't I don't know. know. I can't tell if Nikki's being funny or if he really doesn't no, know. I, 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 I'm doing what you guys are doing. I'm oh, cool. I'm talking like this. this. Yeah. Fantastic I'm, boy. I'm okay. in it. I know. All right. So okay. uh, stay tuned. Game Friday. of Thrones coverage coming very soon. <clears throat> Great. Uh, number four. And a be- beautiful segue we'll have here in mm-hmm. a second. Figma Iron Man. Okay, so so you saw this this image on Instagram, and this is great because it shows the Tamashi Iron Man, yes. the Figma Iron Man, mm-hmm. and the Revoltech all side by side. And this was yes, by Randy cool. Gbh. Randy Gbh. Super and cool. he has, um, you know, you're seeing his picture right now. This is not one of his uh, photos, but he always has really really nice diorama displays and mm-hmm. figures. Yeah. And you know, this is a uh, news I found from following him, and uh, just like you guys, if you post something cool, we can feature it on the show. So definitely submit some stuff. I just realized I've been biting a pen this whole episode, there you go. I'm going to keep going right. with it. That's alright, it's not a big deal. So back I'm to... so used to my e-cig. So, okay, <laughs> Figma Iron Man should be releasing very, very soon. Yeah. Uh, just released in Japan, and you know, as you can see from the comparison, he's a little taller than uh, Tamashi, and a little taller than Rebel Tech as well. Now, I love... Tamashi. We all love Tamashi. Right. They are big supporters of the show. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I have to say, I also like Figma. Yeah, they're you know? great too. I don't want to play favorites here. <laughs> right. Uh, Figma are, they have put out some great figures. They sure. did the Berserk figures, yep. which, you know, I'm a huge fan of. Mm-hmm. This guy loves uh, the Link. And you know, Attack, Attack on, on Titan. Titan. Sure. I mean, look, we love you, Tamashi. Yeah. Yeah. We're not mm-hmm. gonna, you know, we're not asking for an open relationship here, but, right. uh, you know, we gotta respect um, a the nice figure. When, yeah, when you see a nice figure, you see a nice figure, right? Yeah. Yes, so um, he comes with, um, you know, the classic uh, blast that comes out of his hand sure. and his feet, so it looks like he's flying, you know, because yeah. of the Figma display stand. Very cool. Pose. And, uh, you you know, he has like a metallic sheen to him. I definitely want to, to see him in person. Definitely want to check well, him out. Well, talking about Iron Man really makes me want to talk about Avengers 2. Oh my god, the topic of the week. So what a great segue. Let's do an interstitial. Not a segue. <laughs> Let's do it. Segway? Segway. Segway. Sega. <laughs>
-hmm. We are already thinking about summer 2015. Yep. Yes. And obviously the biggest movie on the planet is going to be Avengers 2. Yeah. Yes, that's correct. We have plenty of toys to show you, but first let's talk about the movie. Sure. So we've seen some awesome uh, concept artwork and yep. some set photos that mm -hmm. have been released. We have this sort of the Hulkbuster armor for mm -hmm. Iron Man. Yeah. Yes, that's going to be so sick. Tell us a little bit about it, because, uh, you know, maybe we're not familiar with that huge Iron Man-looking thing. Well, well, Iron Man 3, you know, there's the various, like, different suits, sure. correct? And then yeah. the, the Hulkbuster is basically, I guess he's built by Tony Stark, correct? It is built by Tony Stark. In Iron Man 3, there was the Igor armor. There was a couple armors that sort of look like the Hulkbuster, but I'm not 100% certain if the Hulkbuster was in Iron Man 3. I mean, you no. barely see, like, they're there very yeah. quickly, you yeah. know what I mean? There's no real introduction, like, oh, this one is this, this one is this, you mm. know what I mean? Right. Yeah, so. Um, so, you know, there's been certain times in the comic book when this is your last resort. The mm -hmm. Hulk has gone rogue. He can't be controlled. Right. He's always angry. That's yeah. the secret. Yes, it's, that yeah. is the secret. And uh, you got to send in Tony Stark. Mm -hmm. And um, funny thing, if you rearrange Tony Stark, it actually spells toy... Pizza? Stanker. <laughs> okay. Well. <laughs> what? That, that's, I had to write that down. Yeah, that's what no. you bring to the show. It's Toy me. Stanker. Like, oh, speaking of Tony Stark. Uh, what? Okay. <laughs> I was laughing for a long time. About it. <laughs> you think oh, you're on the toilet or the shower, like Toy Stanker. Toy Stanker. Stanker. <laughs> <laughs> right Why down. did you write that down? Yeah, so as you can see uh, from the concept art that you're showing you, uh, it has an ABC watermark. So was this previewed there or? Oh, like, on what? the uh, maybe on Agents of Shield. Yeah, yeah possibly. Could be. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. But here's my, and I don't know if this is true or not, but here's my theory for Avengers 2. I think actually Iron Man is going to die. No, I, is I don't think Is that his exit so. from the well, series? Well, first of it's all... It's a good theory, but I don't think so. They've killed off so many, fake killed off so many characters yeah. that they have to do a real one. And yeah. Joss Whedon is not shy about killing off characters. Okay. You know, that Nick Fury pretended to die yes. and Agent Coulson pretended to like, right, right. We gotta we gotta have real stakes at some point. So Robert Downey Jr.'s contract is up. We know he said he's not renewing. I don't know if that's posturing or not, but it's and you know obviously they want James Rhodes to yeah. take over. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't know. I think like that would be a real kick in the pants. That would be that, an that awesome was, choice yeah, crazy. to 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 make that uh, movie just that much more you know uh, dramatic and. And and awesome, just like I don't know. I don't know. So that's one thing. You know, Hulk, but you're saying no. I don't think no. so. I, no, I don't know. You, you, you think that without Iron skeptical. Man, without t Robert Downey Jr. as Tony Stark, it, it, the Marvel franchise would suffer. I or? think I really think he's going to be in Avengers three, mm. and I think it will be Tony Stark as Iron Man in Avengers three. I don't think it'll be mm. some other Iron Man. <laughs> My hand is really sweaty in this, by the way. Kind yeah, of, it does happen. Um. I mean, I'd be willing to probably do like a pizza bet. I don't know if there's a gluten-free pizza. I'll there. bet you one pizza. Okay. Okay. We're betting right now. <laughs> one pizza. That Tony Stark. That Tony Stark dies. Slice or pie? I say he lives and you say okay. he dies. Slice okay. or pie? We have it on... Oh, I'll do a whole pie. Okay. Then. I'm, I'm that pie confident. Pie. I mean, it's summer 2015. I'm, it's a ways away. All right. That's we got it on footage, We yeah. got it on tape. Okay. All right. So um, that's Iron Man. Yeah. Right. Um, so oh. then who's the bad guy? The bad guy... He's Ultron. Ultron. Age of Ultron, right, yes. that's the title. So. And he's played by James Spider-Man. Yeah, I don't know. That was uh, that was a weird casting choice for me. I mean, I was just like, yeah. what? That's well, weird. Well, if you've ever seen Less Than Zero, James Spader is the ultimate villain. And Robert Downey mm. Jr. was in that, by the way. I didn't know that. It's I a, it's see a it. great movie. Uh, if you're under 13, watch this movie. It will warp your mind forever. Okay. Actually, don't. We don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> Go watch that. But he's um, on the blacklist. I, I hear that. Okay. Sure. Okay. I've seen the ads plastered everywhere <laughs> yeah, right. for a show I'll never watch. Um, but uh, he's he's an amazing villain. I think he's just the voice. I don't know that he's doing the mocap and everything right. else. Right. Yeah, that's true. Um, but they have this hilarious set photo of Ultron, <laughs> and it looks like he's been hanging out with Sad Keanu. <laughs> yeah. He's just very, very downtrodden. <laughs> cue cue uh, Charlie Brown music. What the? <laughs> 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 Wait, so Hello, that's not him. Hello, my old friend. Yeah. I mean, so, the, oh, the the armor looks great. Yeah. Uh, Ultron is a, it's some of an android. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, now, I don't want to give too much away, uh, away without sort of spoiling it for right. people that don't want to know anything about it. But yeah, he's he's an android. In the comics, he was created, I believe, by... Ant-Man. By uh, Dr. Pym. Yeah. Yeah. And um, Ultron, in turn, creates the Vision. Right, yeah. Who is, I am so excited for, I, the Vision is 
one of my all-time favorite comic book characters for some reason. You'll now be seeing a lot of my Vision fan artwork mm -hmm. on screen. I guess I have to put this in. You now, have <laughs> now you have to put this in. Um, and the uh, they did release this concept art right, of yes, Vision, yeah. which is awesome. Now it's yes. it's interesting because the later version of Vision is in all white, and I think that's a mm -hmm. cooler costume yeah. than this garish red and green. Oh, so this is version. an older retro version. The newer yeah, you're saying yeah. the newer iterations are more white. Well, we can uh, let's take a look at some of the toys. Here. Oh, so we're gonna start yes. talking about Vision toys. Yeah, yeah why not? So yeah. he Vision actually goes yeah, yeah. through several uh, changes. Yeah. Uh, similar to Ultron. Ultron has many upgrades, and he upgrades himself. See, so, correcto. Okay. Yeah. Okay, oh, so Vision. Okay, so they both go through a lot of changes. Yeah, you're saying. Okay. So, um, you know, we've covered those this one's funny. those uh, PVCs in the past from applause, and that's what that is. That's yeah. applause. And right? this is one that I I've had forever. This was one of the first Marvel toys I ever bought. 1990. Ah, and okay. I took it everywhere with me, and it was it's just. So awesome. Even though he's kind of flashing everybody. I don't yeah. know. Right. Yeah, he's like, I thought he was like holding two like, you know, towels, like washcloths. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but yeah. it's just like his cape. It's like, hey, it's hey guys, like I'm here for the tarot party. <laughs> guys? He has ringworm and he has yes. to dry himself off really well. Um, um, was it 1990 or 1980? I think it was 90. Yeah. yeah. I was about 10 years old. I mean, I check out our uh, other episode, the Marvel episode, the X-Men yeah. episode to learn more about the applause line. Yeah, the yeah. applause. Very strange. Uh, they're like cake toppers. Uh, <laughs> click on the annotation. Over here. Here. Oh, here. 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 Okay. Uh, then this vision figure I made myself from scratch. And I made, a, you know, I cut him out a little cape and you're now seeing a large High format flow. image yeah. on the screen. and Very official. It's supposed to uh, reflect my childlike artwork. No, right. it, it's really, really nice. You got the face down with yeah. the... Uh, oh, that's one of the most identifying characteristics of a uh, vision. The, is that, The third eye, the yeah. gem yeah. in his head. You certainly had a vision when making that. So yeah. I'm holding one from... What is this? The Marvel... This is Marvel book? Universe. Now, Marvel Universe, right. St. Mark's Comics. I I was in there with a friend, and I was he'd never, he hadn't been in a few years, and I was like, mm -hmm. we come here two to three times a week, right. and I will have something in my head that I need for the show, uh -huh. and, and I'll walk it. into St. Mark's Comics, and they'll have it. Oh, yeah? yeah. And as soon as I said that, oh, man. I was flipping through the loose yep. figures, and there was a vision. Vision, thing. this one right here. And I was like, "This is this is kismet. This is perfect." And that is the the undisputed magic of St. Mark's Comics. That's great. It is a, it's a. Uh, I, it's one of the only golden? stores in New York that sells loose used loose, toys, yeah. and yeah. their inventory is like refreshed yeah. daily. Daily, yes. You know, and I, you got this what? I'm sure of like six bucks. $15. I mean, oh, what? <laughs> oh, geez. But I had to do I'm it. Surprised. It was a sign. You I'm surprised. Know? It's a lot of times they got stuff, you know, six, ten dollar marked, fifteen. Wow. I mean, I really need one of the, the Snake Warriors. Do they still have those in stock? They have a, a couple dozen Chapmay Snake Warriors. It's actually okay. where awesome. we found our Ocarina of Time figures. Yes, That's right. Ocarina of Time figures. Uh, we have found a Spirit Ang that was featured yeah, on right. our Instagram. Sure. There, uh, look, the show would not be yeah. anything if not for St. Mark's. Yeah. Yeah. Right. We also got yep. Halo toys. Ah! But um, coming soon, possibly. <laughs> um, so yeah, so Vision, I've just, I've always loved, and, uh, you know. Mm -hmm. So, he's probably in the movie gonna be bad, and then becomes good to fight Ultron? Probably something along those lines. And, and look, the good news is, we're definitely gonna have awesome Ultron figures coming out. We're right. definitely gonna have new Vision you, figures yeah. coming out. Uh, yeah. yeah, you'd think so. And then Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch, of course. Yeah. My, um, my question is, if we're just now getting Figma Iron Man, yeah. you know, is, is the Tamashi and Figma stuff for a Avengers 2, is that really far out? It's yeah. far out, but I'm sure it's it's uh, you know in the planning stages. Yeah. But I mean, sure. we got the Guardian stuff from Hasbro really quickly around right. the movie, so we're gonna get some like cheaper uh, price point stuff. Uh, mentioning uh, right. Guardians, you know, seeing that film and seeing like Gamora, like the whole time I'm just like looking at her and be like, I wonder if like the paint's gonna come off or something like that. And if they do handle Vision like with the red paint. I was just thinking about that. Like they they got makeup down so well, Marvel. And, yeah. Uh, they, yeah. You know, so if they are going with the, this version of. Vision, version of Vision. Version you know, of Vision. I, I welcome it. That I'm really excited for Vision. I'm really excited for Ultron because, like, just like um, Iron Man, like if they can make him look just as clean and mm. sh like, yeah. slick like that, then I'm all for it. Nobody does the smoky eye look better than Marvel. That's true. I think That's we fair. can all agree. That's yeah. fair. I love their makeup tutorials. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, so you know, moving on from the sort of new characters that are going to be in Avengers <laughs> Two. Obviously, the return the returning Titan is going to be Thor, mm -hmm. and yeah. we got here the Figma Thor as yeah. well as the old Toy Biz Thor. Cool, the Thor, uh, um, God of Ascot. Ascot, uh, Ascot correct. Ascot. Yes, we're, we're all, they all live. 
Um, so I bought this Figma Thor mm -hmm. more because I'm really excited about the Captain America Figma. Oh, it's not I, out yet? It's just starting to show up now. Oh, I, okay. I just started to see some pictures of the Captain America showing up in Japan, so oh, it should oh, start being imported here okay, cool. soon. Um, Is there a Scarlet Witch coming, too? Look, man, I, I can only be the master of so much information. You can't you can't spring these things on me, all right? right? Well, I need a Scarlet oh, Witch, and I also need a Scarlet Johansson. No, actually, what I was going to say... Um, Sorry. Uh, well, what, I, what I was going to say was, like, they... Okay, you have Thor, you're going to get Captain America. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, we you got to have Iron, Iron Man, Man, but they haven't even announced a Hulk, right? They haven't mentioned... I'm sure it's got to be in the making. But that's got to be a big a big figure. You know, that's got to be With something... With tons of accessories. It's going to be very different from, you know, the other... Fi it's going to be a different build. It could mm -hmm. be. Do you know what now, I mean? Now, what I love about this is... And it's it's very <laughs> subtle, but I think that they managed to capture the actor's likeness, but also add a sort of Japanese interpretation of it. Okay. You, you see what I mean? Yeah, sure. Like it's, yeah, I can see that. It's kind of a little bit stylized. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I dig it. I, you know, I... Yeah. Yeah. He's just so handsome. Well, he's very yeah. handsome, but the coolest thing is that he almost has a... Is it a, considered a PRS? A parallel eyes. Yeah, oh. you, you can rearrange the like uh, the eyes, which yeah. I don't like. I think it it makes the entire head piece right. uh, way more fragile and okay. fall apart. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, it kind um, of just comes off really easily. But this one I don't mind so much because Chris Hemworth just I could stare at those baby blues. They're just yeah. deep, cool pools. Even when they're cross eyed. Normally I don't like the the sort of movable eye system, but I'll make an exception in Chris Hemworth. Hemsworth? In right, Chris. You got this. Yes. That's a very difficult name to well, say. He's Australian. Um, I will make an exception for him because his eyes are just two cool pools that when you stare at them, they right. just really chill you out. Yeah. And if you dove into those pools, you wouldn't have to wear deodorant for like a week. Oh, man. That um, sounds great. On this figure, on the hammer, there's a, it's a kind of carved out. It says, Whoever holds this hammer, uh, if he be worthy, Shall possess the power of Thor. You could you could say with a little more Shakespearean oomph. I can't. Wait, so <laughs> I try. Shall possess the power. That was power... good improv. Thank you. I can't. <laughs> shall possess the power of Thor, which is. Him. Uh, do you guys know the the name of the hammer? No. <sighs> it's a weird name. Mjolnir. But there's an M and a J. Yeah. Right. Mjolnir. Yeah. I don't know. Mjolnir. Mjolnir. I don't know how to say. See, it. like um, Thor's actually my dad's uh, favorite uh, Marvel superhero. And like when you no know, growing up, and he always looked like this with the helmet. Mm -hmm. I never really liked him. I was like, yeah, yeah it was never, 80s he was never. Hair metal band. He was very goofy. I was not really into the, Thor. Eddie Van Halen, and he has like laser tag, you know, uh, sensors <laughs> right. on his uh, chest. My, you know, the funny thing is, like, I know more about I think the um, the pretend justice uh, from Dexter's Laboratory. What's it called? Um, Oh my God! The, uh, just, Krunk, uh, the incredible Krunk. The Justice Friends. About, whatever Justice Friends or something like that. Yeah. And um, he had a, he had an axe, like a, yeah, guitar, he had a guitar. And uh, like I know more about them than I do the actual uh, Thor. That's fair. It's a sad statement about society. But then again, I don't remember their names, so yeah, I guess so. I don't know more. You know his name, Thor. So you, you well, know. I'm saying like back in the day, I was more yeah. familiar with them than I think I was. You know, this was an interesting era at Toy Biz. Uh, this came in a box set, and it was really when they started to add a ton of articulation. But it was pre Marvel Legends. So, uh, so that it's there, but like it's like still limited, like yeah. But I, I actually kind of prefer these over the Marvel Legend. You know, I think, and I'm obviously in the minority, but I think Marvel Legends over articulated. You know, there was sort of like too many waist. joints, yeah, and it it huh. took away from the solidness of the toys. So I actually love this era of Toy Biz because they're they're solid. They, they're durable, they have some posability, yeah. mm -hmm. but it's not sort of, um, it doesn't distract from the sculpt or the character. I can agree with that, but I feel like he's a little, maybe like too oversaturated. Do you know what I mean? Like he's very, he's like a very He's bright, very comic book. Very, yeah, yeah, very comic I like that. Yeah. Yeah, no, I love yeah. it. Yeah. And the best thing about it is that his cape is made out of felt. Very nice. So soft on my beard. Oh. Yeah. He <laughs> looks like, uh, I can't believe it's not figure. butter. Fabio. Fabio? He would be a good Thor. Is that what Fabio is most known for? And going on a roller coaster yeah, really, and getting hit, hit by a bird. Oh that was Thanos behind that. I assure you. <laughs> that was a death bird Yeah, he's Thanos. like, oh, that's not Thor? Yeah. Oh, that's Fabio. Oh, I'm uh, sorry about that. Sorry, man. Yeah, let him live. 
My bad. My bad. Yeah. Um, Jesse, you've taken some really cool pictures with this Figma Thor, so I'm excited to see what you do with the Captain America. Well, the good news is, those pictures are scrolling on the screen right at this very moment. <laughs> it, it already scrolled, but let's put them back on. Let's put them back, back, back on. More work for Nikki. Uh, okay. So, you'll be getting the Captain America very soon? Oh, yeah. I, I'm just... I'm sort of holding off because I hope he will be at New York Comic Con, oh, so okay. I don't have to buy him and have him shipped from wow. overseas. Yeah, that's a smart but, idea. Um, so this is Toy Biz, and this is Toy Biz as well? Oh yeah, the Scarlet Witch. So she is, of course, played by Mary Elizabeth uh, Ashton Antonio what? Sarcosa. Who's that? What? Um, no. The Olsen twin. The is, non -twin. Is, it really, is it Mary Elizabeth from Scott Pilgrim? No, it's not. That's, that's someone else. It's not okay. Mary Elizabeth Winston. It's, it's not her. Mary Olsen. Mary, Mary Olsen. Tyler... More. More Olsen. No, Mary... Oh, it's Mary Olsen. The Olsen sister that's not a twin. Well, I Elizabeth mean, Olsen. Elizabeth Olsen. Oh, from yeah. Godzilla. See? Yes. Oh, I didn't know. Oh, that makes sense. It's all coming back to me. And uh, yeah. Godzilla... Uh, is, is the guy. Aaron... The kick-ass guy. Is Quicksilver. Is yeah. Quicksilver, yeah. They're, so they're, they're a couple... That's, I remember seeing Godzilla with you guys. And be like, they're a oh, couple, they're gonna... but then in this movie, they're brother and sister, so it's weird. That makes sense. And there's also Godzilla, who is played by Hulk. Right. Okay. Correct, yeah. Got it. All makes sense. So, Phil we, Cape... We like to do a lot of research beforehand. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so she's got a nice cape. Mm. Um, she's not going to be a mutant in Avengers 2, right? Right, they're calling it something else. But they, they're they not... They're legally not allowed to say mutant in... Or Scarlet right. Witch. Marvel. What? Really? No, they can. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think they can say that. Um, but yeah, they they can't actually say mutant because that's you know owned by Fox. Fox. Well, yeah, Fox has the rights. Fox to the movie rights. And then in Fox and X Men: uh, Days of Future, Future Past, Past right. you saw her as like a baby. Yeah. Yeah. So it, oh Mar yeah. Marvel's a little you know clunky right now, but like you know for yeah. Avengers uh, purposes only. You know, she will be in it, but not as a mutant, and uh, yeah. I guess not as old as this. I think they're going to have some pretty big roles in the movie, she's, too. She's like the same age as like White yeah, Queen in the comic books. Yeah, she does look pretty she's old. She's like, yeah, adult. Here. She's not like, like now she's like Jubilee, like aged. Right, she right. can do kicks. Oh, okay. That's a lot of fun. Yeah, that figure's okay. She has um, a lot of hair. Yeah, so, you know, uh, the Figma's obviously light years mm -hmm. ahead of this. Mm -hmm. um, I yeah. also... Uh, I want to pick up the Captain America. The Captain America, of course. I'm, on a, I'm on a mission up. to own all the uh, Captain America action figures, and it's really because um, Winter Soldier ignited, reignited my love for oh, Captain really? America. Yeah, I, That's good. yeah Winter Soldier great. First of all, yeah, Winter Soldier, not, so not the good. movie, Winter Soldier, the, the character was so he sick. He's so amazing. awesome, yeah. yeah. He's really uh, cool. Bucky. Um, so you're on a mission to collect all the Captain America figures. Right. Uh, you have this one right here from, what I is do. It, Disc Wars? So this is Disc Wars. This is a really interesting anomaly. Uh, it's like anomaly. an anime, sort of. Yes. Because it's J Japan. Right. So Japan has the rights to produce their own anime. They, mm -hmm. It's um, really adapted for that marketplace. Right. There are like, it's kind of mm -hmm. like Digimon or Pokemon. There are kids who right. can call upon the superheroes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're their counterparts. Yeah, each individual, right. Yeah. I remember and, seeing the intro on YouTube and like, this is real. Yeah. This is a real thing that's happening. And each figure comes with these discs. And there's some sort of game component, but given that none of us speak Japanese, Japanese. we don't actually know no, what's going on. What it's like Beyblades, kind of, meets oh, like Hogs yeah, and so, Jets. So yeah. is it is it doing well in Japan? I mean, like, is it well received, do you think? Uh, I don't know. Maybe our Japanese viewer, can tell singular, us. <laughs> one Japanese viewer, <laughs> could tell us. Oh, come on, yeah. Um, sure. But I also have the uh, the Wolverine. The Wolverine. I, I like really this great. costume, yeah. I like this restyling. and Very cool. Um, right now you're looking at some uh, high-res artwork of the Captain America redesign, and it's just such a cool and anime-inspired take on the character. Yeah. It's like, instead of like having the, the comic book like, you know, suit and with the movie out, it's almost like armor. Yeah. And, you know, he has a helmet. Yeah. And like, the scale is great, too. You know, having a three and three quarter inch like figure. Yeah. You know? Yeah, these are pretty good figures. With they're Marvel, cool. I grew up it's five inches, you know. And like now, right. just to see them in this side, they're actually really sick. And of course, like, that's why you know, like the shield them. is great. Yeah. Three now, and three quarter. That's why you like them. Of course. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh <laughs> well, that's why you like them. Oh, um, his leg. The, the shield I did borrow from a Marvel Universe figure. Okay. The shield he came with was very flimsy. Has this been coming off or something? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. That's, you know, All right. that's how the cookie crumbles. What is that stuff? Oh, that's just a little tape I put on there. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So what else can you tell me about these? Oh, so these actually... So the, the downside is Disc Wars are... Uh, they do not have the rights to distribute, I believe, outside of Japan. So to eBay? These are, yeah, eBay? very expensive imports, Shoot. and it's not likely that we will be... Could you crinkle some paper while I'm talking? Okay, bro. <laughs> it's the exact same one right here. Why would, you, why would you have to well, take I it out of the package? Looking, I was just looking at it. Where did that... Uh, that one came with Wolverine? 
Um, actually, the eBay seller I bought Wolverine from threw in an extra uh, game piece for okay. a game we cannot play. <laughs> but that was very nice, Jeff. All right, thank you, uh, eBay user. Uh, uh, ladies man 456 I believe it was <laughs> that's probably right yeah um, cool so yeah this is an awesome line I mean like what other uh, figures are in it do you know like spider-man they have a Hulk they have an Iron Man they have a spider-man um, they all look cool I I hope they do a Hawkeye like that would be yeah. cool to yeah, see yeah, I guess. now Hawkeye is uh, definitely a character in Avengers that like I don't care I, about no I, <laughs> I miss like the comic book, you know, he, I, he, I love the purple right. and the light blue. Yeah, and right. you know, he's just like, you know, I'm like really, I'm like a marksman. You know, I'm so sick. You know, I think Hawkman is so lame. Um, just Hawkman, Hawkeye, Hawkeye whatever. Hawkman, oh, he's or as, Hawkman is lame. He's or, lame, man. Or as my nieces Nyan and Amelia say, Hawkeye. Oh, okay. Hawkeye. They thought that was his nickname. I thought I was the only one who said that. Yeah. No, the the my relation to so again, not comics, but from the Super Nintendo. Um, what game is it? Yeah, the, uh, Captain the, America. Yes, the Captain America game. And Vision was in that too. Oh, that's Vision. Yes. The oh, white okay. Character. The white with the cape. Okay, so that's that's how I know all these heroes. Yeah. Um, is Hawkeye, Vision, Captain America, and uh, Spider Man? Was that? It's not Spider Man. It's um, it's a girl. I think Jubilee. No. Dazzler. Uh, Mockingbird. It's not Wonder Woman, because that's DC. DC. Uh oh, Susan B. Anthony. <laughs> No, I don't know. Uh, why am I drawing a blank? Rogue. Um, this sucks. No, it wasn't Rogue. It was Lena Dunham. No. No? <laughs> You're so close. <laughs> that was not, how was that close? <laughs> We're going to have to look it up later. Sorry, folks. It's bothering me. But anyways, Vision, uh, Captain America, and um, and uh, Hawkeye are all in that. And Hawkeye is just so lame in that purple. He did the thing like and the, the arrows. But, yeah. I think his costume could use, it could be a little more over the top. It's very subdued and it doesn't have movie. any of the flavor. In of, the movie, you mean? Yeah. 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 He doesn't have the, it's just even a, a thing. And Scarlett Johansson, nice. too. It's just like, oh, we were just like trained military people. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I just thought of this apropos of nothing, but there's an awesome comic book where Wolverine, Captain America, and uh, the original uh, Scarlett Johansson, Black, Black Widow, Widow. Team mm. up in World War II, mm -hmm. and it, it was oh, that's sick. Silver yeah. Surfer, and I oh Silver I Surfer. I think it's Silver Surfer. No. Yes, it has to be. No, no? he's not on his board. Are you sure? Yeah. I mm. really think it's Silver Surfer. I'll bet you one pizza. No, I think <laughs> I might be wrong because maybe I was getting him mixed up with Vision. Yeah, because they, they yeah. kind of look. Similar. They look similar. Yeah. We we'll have to look it up. Sorry. Um, but yeah, Jim Lee drew that comic book. Check it out. I have no idea what number it is. Let us know in the comments. What number of comic <laughs> book am I talking about? This uh, Wolverine reminds me of the the most recently uh, animated series. Uh, it was almost like a Nickelodeon. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Wolverine and the X-Men? Yes. Yeah. He looks like this. Yeah. Yeah. He's pretty cool. Um, well, these are all very heroic characters, and maybe it's time we talk about some heroic characters of our own. What? Segway. What? So, the time is finally upon us. We have the Knights of the Slice. Here, on hand. Prototype paint masters. Wow. Now, I know everyone was just begging to see these on Instagram, you know, with all the teasers that you have seen, the artwork step by step, and, you know, we're thinking about doing a small documentary on every single thing, you know, leading up into this point, up into the release, mm -hmm. but here we have, finally have hand samples of the Knights of the Slice. They're gorgeous. These are one-to-one -one scale, so this is more or less the right. uh, the final size. Yeah, gonna but it is at. a prototype, so I'm feeling yes. very like, oh my gosh, it's yeah. fragile. Yes, they're, careful. they're definitely fragile. Um, we should temper everybody's expectations right now because right. paint masters, you know, you do the deco as best as you can, mm -hmm. and more often than not, your unit cost is going to be sky high, and it's just not going to be feasible. The, you know, as this stands right now, this would probably be about a thirty-dollar action figure. Whoosh. So we're going to have to make some changes. Uh, we probably will not have as much foil to the the gold. Mm -hmm. You know, we'll probably have right. just regular paint apps, not electroplating. Right. Um, we are going to add articulation, so that's a plus. Yep. Um, Where? But. Uh, you know, joints like elbow, maybe possibly knee, ankle. Well, we'll, we'll certainly Next. have, we're going to have hips. You okay. know, we're going to follow more or less uh, the reaction line and okay. just tweak it a little bit. Right. So right. we may be able to have waists. Um, we may have a slight ball joint to the head. Mm -hmm. um, the wrists will pivot because they will be replaceable for secret accessories. Oh, right here. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then the, the hips will move as well. And I think that will probably be about the final articulation. You can um, 
you know, you're now looking at some beautiful photography right. of these figures. Yes. The colors are exactly oh, what we had so envisioned. good. Yes. Like, you know, from, you know, a computer to an actual product in hand, these look great, you it, know. It's really crazy. Beautiful. Just yeah. holding it is so insane. So, so these are us. Uh, we are our respected colors. I'm, I'm lime. I'm brick. Oh, I don't know. Teal? That's right. Okay. That's right. I'm just making sure I got the right blue there. You got it. Okay, cool. Um, you know, this is amazing. You know, uh... I just had a thought. If we do a Kickstarter or something like that, we should have something where, you know, if you pay X amount of dollars, you can have your own color. You know, you have your oh, okay. own figure. That'd be cool. I mean, that's got to be top tier, you know what I mean? Because, you know, there's only sure. so many colors in the rainbow. Yeah, for at four million dollars <laughs> US, you can have red with a dot in it. Yeah, a single dot. Um, but yeah, look, these, these just turned out great. Um, yeah. We're obviously in the very early stages of figuring out uh, how we're going to get these out there? Mm -hmm. Is it just a pre-order online? Are we right. going to do some fundraising? Right. Um, but you know, this is a nice mile marker. We've we've put together it's a good step, a yeah. physical copy, mm -hmm. and they look amazing, and they meet our expectations. Exceed, exceed, yeah. exceed. Very happy with awesome. everything. They're so sick. So shout out to everyone that's helped uh, us get this far. We love fine. Uh, yeah. Just, yeah. Justice Joseph did the sculpting. At, mm. uh, he also worked on Tankhead and a ton of other stuff. Yep. Um, Just Toys did the prototyping mm. for us. Uh, Tiff picked up the uh, Pantones. Okay, well, you know, well, this is not about... Okay. Well, yeah, let's pick up your girlfriend. Jesus, right. she's not my girlfriend. All right, well, let's... Uh... Hi. Okay, cool. Awesome. So, I mean, you definitely... We'll definitely keep you updated on the uh, progress on these. And you can check out some pictures on our Instagram, Tumblr, all those sorts of things. Uh, we're going to be showing off these prototypes. And, of course, we'll uh, keep you updated along the way about what we decide to do, uh, how they're going to release, and so forth. Absolutely. Look, you guys are our Knights of the Slice, and the best way to become a Knight of the Slice is to buy the Knights of the Slice. That's right. There you have it. Um, so speaking of you guys, uh, let's go ahead and take some questions. At the end of every episode, we like to uh, throw it back to you guys and uh, ask you, what do you want to know from us? So Q&As? Q&As, yeah. baby, Q&As. We got the A's. This is a great spot. Not just questions. We are now actively taking uh, submissions. So if you oh, guys are yes. watching, what is the most controversial toy that you have ever come across? And if you, you know, think of anything, leave us a comment. Or if you have pictures of anything like that, send it to us at toypizzamail at gmail.com. Yeah, that's right. Look, we want uh, your input and your help in building future episodes. The one we're working on right now is Most Controversial Toys. The caveat is we don't want to cover anything that's been covered before in a cracked top 10 list right, or yeah, exactly. other videos or articles. We want to really uh, find unique, out yeah, spin what's on been it. banned, yeah. yes. what's a dangerous toy, what talking toy yeah. swore, you know. So yeah. give us your submissions, and if we use your photos, we'll put them up on the episode. Yeah, that's right. And even going forward, like, you know, if we come across, use hashtag toy pizza, yes. get your photos out there. And, you know, you never know. If you're posting pictures of a toy, and it just so happens we're doing an episode on it, we're going to yeah. use it, you know? So hashtag toy it. pizza. Yeah, so we've been featuring uh, some fan photos in every episode so far, but now we're going to be featuring that much more. Correct. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. So, and we're not going to pay you a licensing fee to use them. Mm. That's true. Yeah. Um, okay, so I've got a couple questions here. Mm -hmm. um, Stefan, uh, Stefano the White mm -hmm. uh, asks, mm -hmm. what is the worst movie ever that has a toy? I got mine. Um, okay. That's tricky. Okay. Oh, For me, uh, I don't know. All right, so check this out. Uh, I can't think of the character's name, but I don't know if... Uh, no, hold on a second. Okay. The movie is Small Soldiers. Now, yeah. that was a very uh, strange movie, and everyone liked it. it was no, like, I, I, know like I know where you're going. I know where you're going with it. It was the, who the small soldiers fought. You know, the gar Gargons? The gar Gargons. Gar I think that's it. Gargons? Yeah, that Gargons? one guy that Gargons? just looks like like a rat slash saber tooth. The main one. Yeah. You didn't like him. They're, they're stupid. Archer. Like, I wanted the small soldiers. Oh, I, I didn't even I'm care. Archer. Yeah. The protector of the Gorgonites. <laughs> Gorgonites, yeah. That's what he does. There you go. Now, Small Soldiers should have set my world on fire. It Correct. had everything. The movie is so good, though. I, I, can't, I hated I, it. I, I love the movie. Here's why. The toys have joints sculpted on them that okay. do not work. Oh, my God. So I went yeah, into the store, that. and I saw these groove marks, but there's no actual articulation. That's they were trying really bad. to mimic what yeah. was on screen. That's so stupid. But they shortchanged the functionality. And uh, I was like, no, absolutely wow. not. I will not see this movie. 
Can we get a 20th anniversary? You can't mess with me, Hollywood. Remake, yeah. yeah. We need 20th anniversary re-release of the toys that are really legit. That would be awesome. Put them in a Smash Brothers I won't DLC. watch it. Okay. <laughs> no. Hi, I'm Archer, leader of the Gorgonites. That's really funny that you remember that. <laughs> it's one of my favorite movies. Not um, really, but it's really okay. good. Let's watch it after, I, after okay. this. Show. I'm totally down to watch it. I love all those kinds of movies. I would say um, worst movie that has a toy. Yeah. I would think Battlefield Earth is right up there. Right? Oh, I don't know. I, did, I don't know. It had a toy line from Trendmasters. Sure, sure. Who, it was around the time they were doing the Godzilla toys. Okay. And I've never been able to sit through all of Battlefield Earth. Um, and I remember seeing the toys, and the toys looked like how I felt about Battlefield Earth. I didn't even bother seeing it. I didn't watch it either. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah no, Do you, no, it doesn't look good. I'm trying to think. I was racking my brain. Is that with Michelle Rodriguez? I don't know. That's lost. It had the guy from Dexter, though. I know that. Really? Barry so. Pepper and John Travolta and Forrest Whitaker. Oh, maybe I'm thinking of, I'm thinking of Battlefield L.A. That's what I'm thinking that of. That was a good movie. That's recent. Okay, then I should see that. Don't see Battlefield Earth. Oh, the two different movies. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right, it's same, pre- same premise. Okay. Uh, so, why, why are the uh, toys so it? bad? Um, they were just... They were bad. They looked bad. They, they, mm. I didn't want to buy them. I didn't want to be... I didn't want to play with a... Uh, pseudo religious allegory. Yeah, yeah. You know, I okay. So to answer your question, I'm sorry. I'm just thinking. Yeah. Um, worst movie ever that has a toy. I think uh, the Batman and Robin movie. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, so that Whoa. movie's really bad. Okay, that's so lots one. of toys. For okay, this. I I had the um except the Mister Freeze is awesome. Right, right. Freeze is great. He was that's great. a cool yeah. toy. Yeah. But the but the the question is worst movie sure. ever that yeah, has yeah. toys. So. Yeah, that's one, okay. That's a good <laughs> that's way to look at it. It's, it's all how you uh, read it. Um, well, the thing is that I was upset about like when that movie came out. Uh, like I was like, oh my god, Batgirl is finally in it. Poison Ivy, you know. And but Alicia Silverstone specifically, I was like, oh, she she looks so cute with her long flowing hair. Yeah, yeah. And then the toy had uh, bat ears, and I was like, oh, that's not how she <laughs> looks in the movie. Yeah. You know, it wasn't exactly like how they appeared on screen, so I was upset about that. Yeah. It cool. doesn't beat Michelle Pfeiffer, that's for sure. Oh, without a doubt, <laughs> without Michelle without Pfeiffer, doubt. Catwoman oh. is great. What is the best movie that had a toy? Funny, you should ask. The Crow. Oh, okay. Okay. Eric Draven. All right. Moving on. I'll take it out. Uh, Moving front, on. Friday. Fun so we spent a lot of time on that question. This next one's a pretty short one. Uh, okay. Gift Compatible uh, asks, what are some of your favorite websites to buy toys from? Um, certainly question. Big Bad Toy Store sure. is a good one. Absolutely. Anything that we have mentioned here, like available for pre-order, check the link in the description. Yeah. Uh, we will have links uh, to Big Bad Toy Store. Yeah. Big Bad's great. Mm-hmm. Um, they probably would not be happy about me saying Amazon because I have Prime and yeah. it's made my life so much easier sure. and I can't wait for drones to deliver toys. Yeah. Was this for online specifically? Yeah, yeah. What okay. are some of your favorite websites? Okay, well, um, we, we also do a lot of buying off of uh, Instagram as we've talked about okay. before. That's fair, that's fair. Um, uh, yeah, eBay and Amazon. Uh, I think eBay was really good for, like like you said, getting these, right? These, yeah, these like stuff that's not available books, right? in your region, and it's like, you know, you have to pay for shipping costs, whatever. But also just like opportunity buys, like someone wants to decide uh-huh. to offload their collection, and all of a sudden yep. you find it on eBay. That's or, uh, what's it called when they're together? Like, um, bundles? Uh, bundle? uh, lots. Lots, that's mm-hmm. what I'm thinking, lots, yeah. yeah. WeLoveFind.com, they're starting Wheel to do find.com. more and more toy product. Yep. Mm-hmm. And uh, that's really great. Yep. Uh, three A's, um... Mm-hmm. You can buy directly from them. You sure. know they do pre-orders. Toy Tokyo, yeah. they have an online store. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's lots of choices out well, there. Yeah, we'll throw some links in the description um, where you can find uh, all these places, and probably some that we're forgetting right now. Mm-hmm. Um, cool. And uh, third and last question we've got uh, for today's episode: Bryant Scott asks, "What is your dream property for a Funko Pop vinyl?" Mm. Funko, who likes Funko? Well, <laughs> I'll find out uh, Friday. Funko Fridays. Uh, yeah. No, but that's actually... Dream property, I'm right? going to go with uh, Tarsem's The Fall. Okay, we mentioned Tarsem The Fall. You're now seeing oh, a dead. beautiful a screenshot. screenshot of... Which, by the way, if you still haven't uh, it's been interested enough to see the movie, mm-hmm. none of the movie has uh, CGI uh, green screen or anything that's like right. that. That's right. It's, it's all, all shot practically. Yes. And it's just like, what? I could swear that green screen. So. He, he, um, he was shooting a lot of music videos and he would scout locations for his feature. And I yeah. think he self-financed the film too, which is I insane. I didn't know that. That's yeah. crazy. 
and Don't, you still have not seen it. <laughs> Joan Rivers. All right, we're going to watch that. Rest and then uh, Small Soldiers. Um, okay, Respect so I have my answer. I don't okay. know about you guys. But um, Dream Property. So for us, well, for me, sorry, uh, Funko Pop Vinyl, it really needs to be something that you're super into. Sure. Right? Something sure. that really represents you, something you could put on your desk and say, I hey, what you're gonna say. I love this. What am I going to say? Luigi? Nintendo. <laughs> Absolutely. Anything Nintendo. I think Funko crossover with Nintendo would be beautiful. Yeah. The eyes would work great for any of their characters. Exactly. Mario, yep. Luigi. It would you know, be so good. Down the line. Any of that. Mm -hmm. right, that's fair. That's fair. Uh, me. Me, 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 me. Uh, let's see uh, some more robots. Some more, uh, like, Gundam. Or, uh, let's say, uh, Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad. Or... <laughs> okay. Uh, something like, give me a throwback to, uh, you know, those 90s uh, Fox shows. I know the answer, guys. What? It's yeah. the crow, Eric Draven. Oh, no. I would totally buy it. No, no, no. Well, it's only like he's the only iconic character, and then possibly the the female like hench woman. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. She well, so, was. Okay. No more crow. Creepy. Red Ranger Funko. You wouldn't get that. Uh, they have it. What? Yes, they do. Okay, no, I guys. Know. I know the answer. Knights of the Slime. That's oh, right. Okay. That's of fair. course, that's, that's our dream, dream property. Of course. So Funko, if you're listening. That's pie in the sky. Let's get on it. Um, more Bravest Warriors. Sure. More various worries. In fact, why don't we show some this Friday on Funko Friday? Tune in. That's right. As you guys know, uh, every Friday this month, we're dedicating to Funko. We're going to show you new stuff. We're going to show you behind-the-scenes stuff. So make sure you tune in. Yeah, and yeah. Not, in addition to that, you're going to be seeing it here on Toy Pizza before anywhere else. That's oh, right. that's right. Actual yep. products. Yeah. All month long, every Friday, Funko Friday. And, uh, you know, maybe in the future, as long as this goes really well, we can do more of this mini-series type stuff, right? Oh, no, I'm very tired. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have the capacity. We just have to sandwich with, uh, Sundays. Sandwich Sundays? You know, I don't know. We'll see. There's lots of uh, options. Subway yeah. Sundays. Lots of Subway topics. Sundays. <laughs> We'd love to have a fast food sponsor, by the way. <laughs> cool. Well, um, um, that's, geez, we've done it. We nailed it. We did it all. We did a whole episode. In one take. Avengers, topic of the week. You know, we, we covered a lot of stuff today. Uh, answered some of your questions. Uh, I think this was a great episode. This it, was amazing. Yeah, yeah, you Knights of the Slice have a lot of homework to do. You gotta send us your controversial toys. That's yep. right. You gotta just send us fan photos. That's right. Yeah. You guys, let us let us know what you think about Avengers Two. You gotta uh, share a video with your friends. You have to okay. download yeah, our podcast, fair. which is yeah. now available on, on iTunes. On iTunes. That's crazy. Yes. And I'm a subscriber. Yeah. Hey, Jackatoli Pizza. That too. So yeah. Oh, well, <laughs> all right. There you have it. That's it. There's only one thing left to say. Pizza, Pizza out. out! Check out Knights of the Slice. No, that was it. That's all we're saying. We're okay. done. We're Pizza done here. Out.